guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today I'm actually working on a custom order for somebody. This is a 14 by 18 inch canvas and she gave me very specific colors that she wants and then there will be an awesome embellishment. So for the background here, we are going for darker. I am gonna add some white and then we're using primarily purple, green and black. I don't want it to be too dark, but definitely needs to be quite a bit dark. I am also going to do something I don't normally do, and I'm going to add a little bit of silicone in. So I'm just going to actually drip some in between some layers on this. I'm trying to go for some smaller layers to hopefully get more of the effect that I want. Do a little bit more white. That purple is fairly dark. And I'm also going to throw, I think, a little pop of pink in here. And this is a neon pink. I'll list all the materials in the description. Everything is mixed with Floetrol and water. So, a little bit more silicone. I'm actually going to add a little, a different purple in here. Like this is like a fluorescent purple. And for this size canvas, I need this full cup of paint. Let's do a bit more green. I actually have another green, I think, too, that I'll add into here. This is a bit of a darker green, although we're unfortunately at the end of the cup. <laughs> but still. Okay, just top it off with a dash of white. I'm gonna move everything out of the way here. Well, actually, yeah, I'm gonna move it all out of the way, then we'll do our flip cup. Okay, so I do have, I put some thumbtacks underneath this. Uh, <laughs> this is a bigger canvas, so. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit for a bit, let it settle, and then we'll come back and we'll pull it off. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and torch. So we definitely want cells on this. She specifically wanted cells. That's why I added that silicone and See what we get here. All right, very happy with the colors. That's pretty much exactly what I was going for on the colors. I hope a bit more of that green comes out though. So let's go ahead, tilt. And I definitely think more cells will be coming up. Very cool. All right, let's go ahead. We'll let this sit here for a little while. Um, and actually, you know what we're going to do for this one? Because we're going to come back and do the embellishments. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and let this dry. Then you'll see the, the changes that occur during the drying process, especially with silicone. It can change a lot. And we'll be back for the embellishment in just a few days. All right, guys, we're back. So this is the background, it is all dry. I am so excited about this project. So now I'm gonna be adding in part of a tree. It's gonna be pretty big because I wanna be able to see the Cheshire Cat. I'm not gonna make it tiny. So, um, and I think that this can be awesome to incorporate that in as part of the tree. Now I'm gonna take my time on this. It's not gonna be a quick process. So I am gonna go ahead and time-lapse this. I'm using just regular acrylic paint to paint this on, not mixed with anything, just regular acrylic paint. So here we go, wish me luck.
So that was extremely nerve wracking. I hope I did okay on this cat. Um, I love the neons in this funky, funky, twisty tree. Um, yeah, I really hope you guys like this as much as I do. And I absolutely hope the client loves it. This was a super fun project. So there you have it. An acrylic pour background with a Cheshire cat edition. And I will see you all next time.